Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel Steel Cave. In this video, I am going to discuss about design of lifting lug plate. What is this lug plate? Where we are going to use this lug plate? For all these questions, you will be able to answer at the end of the video. If you are watching my video for the first time, please hit the like button and also click on the subscribe so that you will never miss the updates regarding my channel. Okay, now quickly let us get into the video. Let us consider a heavy weight block in the site and you want to transfer it from one place to another. Then how you are going to transfer that block from one place to another? It is through the cranes. And how you are connecting this block to the crane is very, very important. Here comes the role of lug plate. Here you can see clearly that crane is connected with the hook. Then after that sling, after that chains and D shackle and also lug plate. Here each and every component like chain, D shackle, slings and also hook, they are rated with the capacity and you will get available in the market. Like for example, if you consider a D shackle, D shackle of 5 metric tons, D shackle of 10 metric tons, it is the rated capacity of the D shackle and you will get from the market. Then coming to the lug plate, it is not like that. You have to design separately for the lug plate. Design is nothing but, for example, if you take a lug plate, you are going to find the thickness required and also edge distance required for the lug plate. That is nothing but the design of the lug plate. Here, let us go through some of the images taken from the site. Here you can see this is the lug plate, which is clearly shown here. Next, coming to the other images, this is also a lug plate which is welded to the body. The welding is clearly shown in the image and this is the D shackle which is connected to the lug plate through the pin. This is the pin. The reason behind why we are calling it as D shackle is nothing but it is in the form of D. So it is named as D shackle. There is no much logic behind it. And this is the 3D image of the lug plate arrangement. Here a lot of components are available in this image. You can clearly observe that is this is the D shackle and this is the cheek plate and these are brackets provided and this lug plate is welded to the body. Okay, let us understand the reason behind each and every component. This D shackle anyway which is used to connect this lug plate to the crane or any sling. Next coming to the cheek plate, here you can see this cheek plate is provided up to the certain diameter only, not over entire lug plate because here we are providing cheek plate to improve the strength of the lug plate at whatever the more stress concentration. Here whenever the lug plate is connected to this pin, the stress concentration is high around the diameter of the region. So we are providing or increasing the thickness of the lug plate by providing this cheek plate where the stress concentration is very high so that you can save the material. And coming to the brackets, we are providing these brackets to improve the bending strength of the lug plate. For example, if the load is acting in the inclined direction and Anyway, this lug plate is going to bend with respect to the minor axis of the lug plate. So that to improve this bending strength of this lug plate, we are providing these brackets. And this is also one of the image you can clearly observe. This is the D shackle and this is the normal lug plate. And here also the lifting lug plate is clearly given. This is the D shackle which is connected. These are the some of the Im images which I have taken from the internet. Before going into the design of the lug plate, let us understand the failure pattern of the lug plate. First failure pattern is shear failure of lug plate. For example, when the load is acting axially across the plate, then the load is going to distribute at the 45 degrees angle. For example, this you can see. This is the 45 degrees angle dispersion of the load. So that whatever the area of the plate at 45 degrees angle this is going to come out of the plate similarly you can see for example this plate in this way the load is going to distribute and this entire area of the lug plate will going to come out please keep one thing in mind for example if you consider any structure in the practical the maximum times the load is going to transfer in the 45 degrees only and next thing that is steering failure of plate. When the load is acting on the plate, the 
fibers which are adjacent to the pin are going to yield and similarly the total entire cross section of the plate is going to come out here you can see clearly here the yielding of the plate fibers are going to take place and this entire cross section is going to come out this is nothing but the tearing failure of lug plate next coming to the bearing failure of lug plate the fibers which are adjacent to the plate are going to crush and deform so that the bearing failure of the lug plate will take place similarly here also which are contact with the pin those fibers are going to crush and yield and the failure pattern is clearly visible when you observe the lug plate this is the failure patterns of the lug plate so you got idea like for what conditions we are going to design this lug plate first condition is nothing but shear next condition is nothing but tension and the final condition is nothing but bearing if your lug plate is having the strength to resist shear tension and bearing then you can provide that lug plate in the site so that it can bear any type of loads for the greater capacity okay thank you for watching this video and i am going to continue this design of lug plate in the upcoming video with a problem from the site directly and if you like my video please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel so that you never miss the updates regarding my channel thank you